may be seated in God's presence. Breaking forth by relationship, part one. Hear this. What I'm about to teach you, I didn't come to preach. I came to show you one of the greatest things in life that 90% of people don't know. 90% of people are on the floor because of ignorance of what I'm about to share. Breaking forth by relationship. We know that this year has been declared as our break forth year. But there are forces that will bring the fulfillment. You heard one of the testifiers. He said, the spirit used to come on me. I will parade the house till around 5, 5.30 before I sleep. I'll be watching other people sleeping. He said, but thank God that day, honorable Fred stood out. He gave in summary, the deliverance was a warfare in the house that neighbors were attracted. There are some people that have been very arrogant, very saucy to people because they lack the knowledge of what I'm about to bring to us. Hear me, sometimes in life, who you know can be more powerful than what you know. That's one. Who you know can be more powerful than what you know. Number two, who you know can make what you know produce faster. There is something you may know, but you need somebody to make it produce. I said sometimes in life, one, who you know can be more powerful than what you know. There are things you may know. <laughs> They won't make any sense. But who you know will make a better sense. Number two, I said, who you know can make what you know produce faster. There is an idea you may have and is hanging. But by reason of who you know walks into your life, picks it up and makes it produce in your life. Am I correct? Yes, sir. Three. When who you know supports what you know, you gain unusual speed and momentum in life. When who you, who you know supports what you know, you gain unusual speed and momentum in life. When who you know supports what you know, you gain unusual speed. You gather on common momentum you accomplish the supernatural imagine that there are things you know that can produce yet you don't have anybody that can help you bring them to pass but one person walks into your life and said oh you are good at this why not let me showcase you dangote knew something but he needed money so, their relationship with Dan Tata gave him 500,000 US dollars that made him who he is today. Who you know can be more powerful than what you know. Hello. It's not every time you brag about what you know to who you know not. Because the person that you are bragging before can be better than you. Follow me carefully. Let me give you vital relationship secrets. We are talking about breaking forth by relationship. There are vital secrets that a lot of us we don't know about when it comes to relationship vital relationship secrets number one it is a case to lack right relationship it is a case ecclesiastes chapter 4 verse 10 woe to him that is alone woe or your dear honor it no go better for the person we no get person. 
So, it is a curse to lack right relationship. Number two, it is a curse to ignore destiny relationships. It is a curse to ignore destiny relationships. There are people God is bringing your way by destiny design. Yet you are ignoring them. Life will be full of struggles, pains and tears. Three. Every relationship has strength and weaknesses. But take the strength and manage the weaknesses. Every relationship has strengths and weaknesses. So, how do you blend the two together? Take the strength. Celebrate the strength. But do what? Manage. Tolerate. Endure the weaknesses. There is no body on earth, dead or alive, that hasn't a weakness. Everyone has it, including you and I. Even the one finding fault also has. In fact, for you to even find fault, it means it's a weakness. For you to see other people's weaknesses, it means that is a weakness on your part. Because fault finders never rise. Only fact finders rise. Never you think that you can relate with people based on their strengths only. Then walk away from people because of their weaknesses then you will never have a lasting relationship. You keep having a relationship, you disconnect. You start another one, you disconnect. You start another one, you disconnect. If you don't know this, you may never last in marriage. Hello? If you don't know this, you may not last in marriage. No, I, I don't take nonsense. I, I, I don't take shit from men. Hmm. You will take plenty. You won't just take it. You swallow them. I, I can't tolerate nonsense from ladies. Then it means you marry more than 50 before you die. It means you will keep changing jobs. Hello? You what? You will keep changing jobs. Because when you walk into a boss, you say, I can't tolerate his nonsense. Then you will leave that boss. You look for another job. After you look for another one, you see. Because very soon, that demon of weakness in you will still open your eyes to see another one. Another weakness in that boss. You will leave. Then you will never have a mentor. You will never have a coach. It means very soon what will happen? You won't have parents. Because even inside your parents, there are plenty faults. Do you deny your father because he married a second wife? Huh? Do you deny your father because <laughs> he's a drunkard? Huh? No, no, no. Because he's a drunkard, he's no more your father. Okay, now. Even if you see him in the gutter, at, that, at night, you people looked for him, you didn't see him. And he's dancing, ayaga, yaga, yaga, you. <laughs> and now finds himself inside the gutter because he thought the gutter is a swimming pool. And he dives into the mirage thinking it's a swimming pool. And you are passing by. You must carry him. You walk away from your father because he's a drunkard. God places a curse on you. Even if you are a pastor. You say, I'm born again. Born nonsense. If you are born again, you should be Christ-like. Is the more reason why you should even show him the love and bring him out. To walk away from him because your father is a drunkard and was found in the gutter, it means you are an unregenerated, old, Adamic nature beast. It means you are not broken yet. If you are broken, your father's weakness is a pleasure to you. You drink it like water. You can never sit anywhere to discuss your own biological father. You now blow him to the world. You want to die? Go and ask him. He will tell you. When he saw his father's nakedness, he laughed and told the other ones. The other ones carried this and came 
and covered it. Every biological father's witness is to be covered by the children. The day you make mistake to spread it out, hear me clearly, you will do the same thing. You are not aware. You will do the same thing that your father did. Go and write it down. <laughs> you think God didn't know that he has that witness before he made him your father? I would have been close to him. Or I, I would have been close to her. But that girl talks too much. If she talks too much, but she has what you need, you better ignore the talking. You better ignore the talking and focus on the giftings not the talking either you ignore or you manage the talking vital relationship secrets number four now what you don't learn by instruction you will learn by consequences what you don't learn by instruction you will learn by consequences so you better avoid it you better avoid it when they give you an instruction, you better dive into it. If you dodge it, you pay by experience. And it may be very bitter. Say so here. Number five. People matter to God. Therefore, people must matter to you. God is the God of relationship. God believes in people. If God believes in people and you don't believe in people, you are missing it. If God himself cannot do without people, who are, are you and I to do without people? We can't. So people matter to God. God believes in people. So you too, people must matter to you and you must believe in people. So here. Yeah. Next point. When you approach every relationship as a parasite, as a taker, life will keep taking from you. When you approach every relationship as a parasite, as a taker. You want to collect from the person without giving. Life will keep taking from you. Two, doors will be shut automatically at the speed of light. Rap, 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 rap. Immediately people discern that you want to be taken from them without giving. That the relationship you want to bring up is a parasitic relationship, not a symbiotic relationship. You end up paralyzed. I said, when you approach every relationship as a parasite, as a taker, you keep collecting. One, life will keep taking from you. Two, doors will be shut automatically faster than the speed of light. You must approach it with a contributor's mindset, with a giving mindset, with a value-added mindset. A man just proposed to you today, and the next thing you have given him a list, close to buy, your mother to take care of, your father to take care of, your siblings, will he remain? No. He just proposed to you today, and you, are, you just brought out a long list. <laughs> You list the thing. No. Build the relationship first. Before you bring out the list. You just met a lady. And you believe the lady has money. You, you, you bring out a list. You now devise cunning strategies to withdraw money from her. Immediately she senses that. No matter how foolish you think she is. She will shut the door. And when she shuts that door, it's difficult to open it. Almost impossible, if not impossible. Every relationship must be symbiotic. You must be committed to that relationship. You must, even if you don't have money, at least you should have handkerchief to give somebody. When you package handkerchief and give to somebody, the person knows that you would have done better if you were empowered. Praise the Lord. You think handkerchief doesn't matter to somebody? It matters plenty. Even if it is a recharge card of 100 naira. Never you approach relationship 
with a taking mindset. You see a rich man, all you are targeting from the rich man is what the rich man has. You may not last there in that relationship. Next point. Relationships are essential to the fulfillment of any destiny, vision, or assignment. Relationships are very essential to the fulfillment of any destiny, vision, or assignment. Next point. No matter your gender, location, profession, career, you can't do without relationship. No matter your gender, your location, your profession, your career, you cannot do without relationship. Genesis chapter 2 verse 18. Can we all read together? One, two, go. And the Lord God said, It is not good that the man should be alone. I will make him and help meet for him. What does that mean? Man in his original state. Man in his sinless state. Man in his quality and quantitative, qualitative relationship with God. Wouldn't do without relationship. Man in his sinless state. If man without sin, God is saying you cannot make it alone. That's to say that no man can live in isolation. Two, no man is an island. You cannot live all these nonsense statements they make. Self-made millionaire. Self-made so is a lie from hell. There is no self-made anywhere. As you are seated here, who brought you forth? Somebody gave birth to you. Abby. Somebody had to meet with somebody for you to come forth. Is that true? Somebody carried you inside to bring you out. Am I correct? You went to school. Did you teach yourself in school? A teacher taught you in school. You can't do without people. Your ability and capacity to relate with people can redefine everything about your destiny. If man couldn't do without relationship, so what are we saying? Okay, Genesis chapter 3, verse 8. Genesis 3, 8. And God was coming at the cool of the day. What was he coming to do in the cool of the day? Eh? to relate with Adam Abby to relate with Adam and Eve so even God himself has value for people it means that God cannot do without relationship that's why in Genesis chapter 1 verse 26 he said let us make man in our own image why our own image so that we can relate with him that's pali pali that's why he says come let us reason together Say, go oh boy, come, let's listen together. She don't may we talk as palace. Can you call your animal to come and reason with you? You call your dog, no matter how wise that dog is. Praise the Lord. God Himself is the God of relationship. God relates with people in Mark chapter 3, from verse 12. 13, 14. What happened? Jesus went up and prayed and ordained 12. So even Jesus himself, the master, couldn't do without relationship. Hello? A lot of us are missing so much because there are things we are doing that we are not aware that is dangerous. Why many people are on the floor today is because they don't know these things. That life is all about relationship. The formation of man is tied to relationship. The fulfillment of any man on earth is tied to relationship. Don't despise people. To despise people is to bring a curse on yourself. Because when you despise people, you disconnect yourself from relationship. People begin to avoid you. And when they avoid you in the sunny and the rainy day, you will lack help. Come with me to Ecclesiastes chapter 4. Let's begin from verse 7. One, two, go. Read. Verse 10.
Now, verse 11. Sisters want to go. So, men want to go. Verse 12. Go back to verse 7. Take it from NLT. New Living Translation. I observed yet another example of something meaningless under the sun. This is the case of a man who is all alone, without a child or a brother, yet who works hard to gain as much wealth as he can. But then he asks himself, who am I working Can you see what loneliness can do? Who am I working for? What, what, what am I doing all these things? Why am I giving up so much pleasure now? It is also so meaningless and depressing. Go to verse 9. Two people are better off than one, for they can help each other succeed. Hear this. Failure is a result of lack of relationship. Write it down. He said, for they can help each other succeed. Opposite of success is what? Failure. Failure. So, it is not the gift in you that is the problem. There is nothing that is the problem. The problem is the what? Is the lack of right relationship. Lack of right relationship. Anywhere you see failure, relationship is lacking. Verse 10. Can we read verse 10? NLT together. One to go. If one person falls, the other can reach out and help. <laughs> but people who are alone when they fall are what? In real trouble. Lack of right relationship is the platform for real trouble. There are certain troubles you are going through now. It's not the enemy attacking you. It's because you lack the right relationship. Let's move to verse 11. Likewise, two people lying close together can keep each other what? Warm. But how can one be warm alone? What does this mean? There are certain colds in life that your clothes cannot cover. You can be clothed and still be naked and cold. The coal of poverty doesn't need your clothes. It doesn't need physical clothes. It needs relationship. One person walking into your life can terminate poverty. The coal of unemployment. One person walking into your life can do what? Can terminate unemployment. Can give you a miracle job. There are certain coals in life that the clothes you are wearing cannot cover it cannot make you feel warm it is only a relationship that can cover it so I hear two people lying close together can keep each other warm a lot of people are dying in cold today because they lack the right relationship tell your neighbor don't pretend you don't need relationship you must take your mind off or you just See this scripture beyond marriage. Not, we are not talking about only marriage here. Because you can be married and still be cold. You can be married and not be warmed. Because the right relationship that will terminate the coldness is not there yet. Today, the right people will be walking into your life. Have you not read? When Isaac saw Rebecca and Rebecca came in, he said, I found a replacement for my mother. Go to verse 12. Can you all read together? One to go. standing alone can be what? Attacked and defeated. Did you hear that? What does that mean? 
every defeat is a function of lack of right relationship. A call was made for widows to come out because they needed to share money. Husband and wife sat. The wife stood up and was going. The man dragged her back and said, where did they go? Are you, you want to kill me? He said, of what value are you to me? When you are alive and it's as if you are dead. He said, that's why I'm going out. Let me go and collect that money. I need that money. The man followed. They said, ah, you, Mr. Man, what happened now? His widows, we didn't see widowers. He says, this is my wife. He said, what? This is your wife? He said, yes, it's my wife. Why did she come out? Please let her use her mouth to talk. That's why I came out, because I don't want to die. And they told the ma madam, what happened? The woman said, pastor, of what value is it to me? <laughs> when he's not meeting my needs, I, I need money more than even these people standing here. Because when I collect this money, even himself will feed from the money. Tears came out of the man of God's eyes. And he asked the man, what can I do for you, sir? The man said, sir, if I can just have a taxi to be driving, I'm okay with that. He said, a taxi? He said, yes, if I can have a taxi, I'm good to go.